Ted Olson is the Solicitor General of the United States. You know him very well from the many, many appearances he made before the United States Supreme Court and the Florida Supreme Court in the question over the election of uh, Bush over Gore. His wife was Barbara Olson, who appeared on this program so many times in the last four weeks, almost every night. Barbara Olson was on uh, American Air Flight 77 that left Dulles, bound for Los Angeles, and crashed into the Pentagon. I spoke to uh, Ted Olson today briefly, and it was just sad, so sad to speak to someone who had just lost his wife. Another gentleman who spoke to him was a much closer friend to the Olson family. He's Tim O'Brien, CNN correspondent. He called Ted on the phone. We understand, Tim, that you were at their wedding. I was in their wedding. I was also out at his house this after afternoon along with a number of other friends. It was a very sad afternoon. Now, she, I know he told us she called him, but he went into detail with you. What happened during that call? This is the only information we have on these terrorists. She was able to call him twice. How she could pull that off, we don't know, but she did. The phone went dead the first time after a very brief conversation, maybe less than a minute, and she called him back. Uh, and she said to him, what do I tell the pilot to do? Vintage Barbara, ready to take mm -hmm. charge. She was in the back of the plane, huddled with other passengers, and we're told uh, flight personnel and presumably the pilot. Uh, she said that uh, they were armed with knives and uh, box cutters, paper cardboard cutters. Uh, if uh, they were armed with uh, other weapons, such as machine guns or any kind of gun, you'd think she might have said that first, but she said no, uh, knives and box cutters. Uh, I asked Ted, did she tell you how many people were there, how many hijackers were there? And uh, Ted said no, but she referred to them in the plural, so there was more than one. What about nationality? Did you get any sense of that? No. Motives? No. Uh, but uh, and, they, and were, Ted's they were all in the back of the plane, right, Tim? The pilots and the passengers were herded to the back of the 757. That's the understanding I get from Ted, correct. So whoever took over that plane was up front, and one of them had to know how to fly it. Presumably that's the case. Yeah, but, you know, that's speculation, and we don't know for sure. It's conceivable there was a co-pilot who still may have been in the cockpit. We don't know, but there were flight personnel and most of the passengers huddled in the back. Incidentally, Barbara was not supposed to be on that flight today. Her original plan was to fly to California yesterday. Today is Ted Olson's birthday, and uh, she wanted to be with him last night. And uh, so that was the cost. Uh, and when she was on the phone, Ted had already known about the crashes in New York, right? That is correct, and he did tell her about that. So she had a good idea of what she was up against. She knew about the two crashes at the World Trade Center. Uh, you, Tim, you stay with us. Brian Jenkins, you're an expert on terrorism. You've been involved in things like this for a long time, but nothing compared to this. Were you shocked? Uh, shocked, but not surprised. Uh, not surprised? Not surprised, no. The possibility of, of a large-scale terrorist attack on this country is something that uh, we have anticipated for a long time. Uh, there have been previous incidents involving multiple coordinated attacks. We have dealt with uh, previous situations where it was either threatened or certainly a concern of the authorities that a hijacked aircraft would be crashed into uh, a, 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 into the middle of a city. But from what Miss Olson described them as having, how did they, how did they get on the plane with that? Well, it, 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 it depends. I mean, that, that's difficult to say, and we, we, we don't know. I mean, people do board aircraft with, with all sorts of, of, of small things. Uh, and I, get I, on? And potentially, and potentially get on. I, I suspect that's going to change now, but I mean, people board aircraft with, with small pen knives. Uh, they board aircraft with various kinds of, uh, of, of metal objects. Um, it, it does, however, uh, uh, raise some questions about how they were able to get on the aircraft and take control of the cockpit. This is not a standard hijacking where somebody seizes a passenger hostage and, and uh, orders and, a pilot to fly to another city. And, in fact, in three of the four operations, they succeeded. They did the succeed. The one that went down in Pennsylvania was obviously heading for Washington, is that correct? And something I, must have happened. Uh, that, that's a safe presumption. Arthur Woke, you're an expert at uh, aviation accidents. You've been involved.